Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. We have a very special guest with us today. The illustrious, the industrious, the in- uncrustiest. The uncrustiest? Uh, you look, man, it's hard. To, I just woke up. I did right. take a shower. It's good. He, I'm, I'm he's, less crusty than usual. He's a beautiful man with beautiful opinions and a beautiful idea. Um, and he comes to us. From the great city, from the great state of Texas. Great state. Mr. X, welcome again. Mr. X, back by. Mr. X. Back by not that popular demand. No, honestly, pretty pretty popular. Mr. X. Er, pretty popular. Uh, I, I told you about your fan, so we'll start I did. there. I, yeah, shout out, shout out to a fan. He whoever is not you are. a fan. That is <laughs> ridiculous. If, this, if, if, if Blake knows that Mr. X is a part of this podcast and references him in the comments. No. That's a fan. No, a, bro, he has he has one guy. Look, I'll admit that you've got more comments than I ever have. No, <laughs> no one's ever said, "Hey, Jonas, great job! Can't wait to hear what you have to say about anything." Hey, Very true. It, it's getting a little salty in here. That's not what we're about. No, it's we're fine. Not, it's, <laughs> honestly, it's your it's your channel now. Yeah, you know hey, what? We're just, the Mr. Let, X show. Actually, I appreciate this is going to be the Miss, Mr. X episode. Yeah, yeah let's, let's get to know Mr. X a little better. <laughs> oh, is that what we're going to do? Just talk yeah. about me. So, all right, sure. What do you want to know? All right. So, for real, we got a topic today. Yep. We're going to bring it up. And I don't know, y'all don't know much about it, but there's a lot going on in the stock market with GameStop right now. This, this week, this month, has been insane. Mr. X, what, do you know anything about this situation or what happened? Are you aware of, like, you know, the history behind all of this? So, so, I know the history because I remember the dude, some dude on, was it Reddit? Yeah. It started on Reddit in, in and it YouTube, was like, yeah. was, he just started pumping GameStop. And like, and then it kind of became this big, you know, f you to the man because they, because all these guys started shorting GameStop and they 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 screwed up all these big Wall Street shorts, which cost them like hedge funds like like a billion dollars or something like that. Yep, billions. And so yeah. so they got mad, and then of course they you know because those kind of guys get mad, they bring Congress in. So I know that dude had to testify. Well, they shut off the buy button where you couldn't buy the stock anymore. Okay, that was, on, that was on that was on Robinhood. Robin it was on Robinhood. Yeah, it was on many of them. Robinhood, oh, which was, was supposed to be the yeah. one that was like for the people, well, right? So okay, yeah, that, that's what happened head. before. They, they what they said was a short squeeze. Turned out the congressional report said the shorts never closed. All that was buying pressure from not them closing their short positions. So what has happened in the in the last three years is there was a guy, Roaring Kitty, deep fucking value on Reddit, was the guy who came out and said, There's value here, here's the thing. When all that happened, he got summoned to, to Congress. M- the man disappeared. Went off Reddit, went, because obviously he was like, Oh, I got into some shit. All of a sudden, so over the last three years, what has happened is the community has started digging into everything based on financial, and and they have a thesis of about how there's a lot of fraud and corruption and all this stuff. That's the short version. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago, Roaring Kitty reappears out of nowhere, starts posting memes all over Twitter. For like literally every 15 minutes is this, putting out like videos. This is the country we live in now, by the way. Hold on. Just want to put that out there. Uh, turns out the, the Monday after this happens, the GameStop stock explodes again. Almost goes back to all-time <laughs> highs. Comes back down. He keeps posting. Uh, GameStop makes – sell shares, makes a billion dollars. So now GameStop, who they tried to shorten to oblivion – is last year was their first profitable year in like five years, and they have no debt and sitting on two billion dollars cash. So they are never going bankrupt. I mean, never is a strong term. <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> because bit. it's definitely still a, uh, a losing business. GameStop, it's a losing business. So what yeah. they also they, can, they definitely need to pivot. The Alpha has have adjusted their strategy, and they are now they are now allowed to invest their money almost like Berkshire Hathaway. <laughs> in so they so we're, we're gonna see what, what happens, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Warren Buffett, who is oh god, works your Hathaway. Warren is Warren Buffett's company. It was a textile business when he took it over, and he turned it into a holding company where he just invested money, and now the shares are six hundred thousand dollars a piece. No, all right, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. good for him, I guess. So, right? anyways, uh, comes back, comes back out. The, the media is like trashing him like and uh, so what 
I don't know exactly what's happening, but what ended up happening is he's revealed his position. He now he now owns five million shares of GameStop and has call options for twelve million more shares. So this is, is he, Roaring Kitty. Yeah, has all, okay. yes. yeah deep effing value. And uh, so, but but I guess the the, the whole point of all of this, what the what the thesis about it is, is that they're selling options that they don't have the shares for. And he bought. 12 million dollars 12 million shares worth of options so if he was to like cash those in they have to find those shares right and so he so i think what the plan is is he's, he's trying to catch the hedge funds with yeah, their pants down catch the hedge, and be like hey you gotta buy these you gotta get these 12 million shares so the price has been dude yesterday the price started at like 28 it went, went to 40 yeah. went to 65 16. after hours mm -hmm. and today by the end of the day it was back down to 30. Yeah. like the shit is just insane it's crazy it's yeah. all over the place so basically what it is is they call all these stocks meme stocks but the problem is retail does not have the money to push the price like that mm -mm. so what's happening is they've done so much corrupt weird shit that they're causing the stocks to be super volatile but they're blaming it all on like retail and whatever, and that's like the the new the, how the news cycle is doing it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very interesting. I don't know what the hell is going to happen, but some people stand to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. It's funny you don't know what the hell is going to happen, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's like uh, cool. Stick it to the Richies, and and that's Get kind of, and that's and that's what it's kind of become a movement where people are like, we're gonna buy this stock and hold on to it so they can't have our shares and basically the float is what is available to trade so like between the, the float is very low because the people retail owns a ton of it mm -hmm. i don't know what that means and i don't think most of the people means how much how many shares are outstanding to trade like like how many shares like, can trade on a day like if you needed to go, if you had all the money in the world wanted to go buy all the shares that were possibly there that's oh, that's, okay, that's what I he's talking so about so there's very limited shares shares available to trade that's the yeah, whole point okay, obviously because everyone's just yeah. buying and holding right yeah there's not but, 12 million but shares yet out there. somehow there's like hundreds of millions of shares trading every week so they they trade more than they actually have available or or it's or it's rolling over numerous times in a week. Well, and that's normal because like that all the day normal. trading stuff, like day yeah. trading is just in out in out in out mm -hmm. all the time. So you're seeing these. So cumulatively, you see massive amounts of share <clears throat> trades. It's the same damn shares going back and forth. It's not like you know. And, I, and the only time that it matters is if everybody wants to cash in. Yeah, if everybody's trying to buy only buy or, or sell or, or yeah. sell, then that's when everything and matters. Yeah. Well, and the big the big thing that's that they're waiting for is because like that's what GameStop's doing. They're transitioning into something else. So like in in the, in the <laughs> when they were buying selling all these shares to get the money, so they have two million dollars of cash. They specifically said it's for mergers and acquisitions and to invest. So it's it's like kind of everyone's kind of like, well, what the hell is going to happen? Is this dude going to like cash in all those options at the moment that GameStop announces that they've like bought a company mm -hmm. or like something? <laughs> And like, cause the whole thing is like the Mo ass, right? The mother of all short squeezes is supposed to happen. Everyone's going to get rich in the whatever, which is conjecture. Who knows? Right. I Conspiracy. Guess my, my only thing is that I see GameStop as kind of like a failing business, at least in its current iteration. Now it could, uh, obviously you said they need to pivot Mr. X, but it's like, what do you pivot into? You got to pivot into something that's going to be more, uh, obviously internet based, something that's yep. more digital cause brick and mortar ain't yep. doing it. So I don't know. I don't know what the end goal is for deep fucking value. I mean, obviously he's already made his money. He has um, not sold a single share. Bullshit. He has not sold a single share. Bull he posted his well, position he, online. Well, he doesn't have to. He well, you got to remember these guys don't have to. Once you have crazy amount, crazy, high, and I don't know what his what his totals are, but uh, if GameStop goes to sixty nine dollars, he will be a billionaire. Okay, so once you have that kind of that kind of holdings, you just borrow against it all the time. Cause that and that's how you avoid paying because uh, you don't have to actually have to sell it out. For no, that. I can just get a margin margin loan against it and borrow against it, and that way I never have to pay taxes. It's one of those rich guy tricks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're like, hey, I have I have stocks worth four hundred million dollars, and like, yeah, yeah I need we'll, I need to borrow we'll, fifty million for my living expenses this year. Okay, cool, we'll do that. And I'm going to put the stock up as collateral. And yeah, whatever. yeah, and if, yeah, exactly. If yeah, if you don't pay, we'll sell your stock and whatever. <laughs> yeah, huh? exactly. Really? That's how. They, oh, yeah, yeah. So and that, so, so he never yeah. has to sell it. So he never has to pay capital gains taxes on it, right? So, yeah, I mean, like that's I, how. Yeah. That's yeah. how like Elon Musk. That's all these dudes live. They get they're they're wealthy with stock. So or whatever. they never live with liquid. It's no, all no, those guys have tied no cash. Up. Yeah, they have no cash. They just borrow the cash they need and live off of it and sell it or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so, because they can. It's it's just been a very well. It, it's really funny because like the news. It's really for 
the thing that I think is very interesting and funny is the news's narrative for has been, even during the old thing back in 2021 was like worthless business uh don't buy it whatever but they have spent the last three years almost on a daily basis telling people how badly they should sell the stock do you hear them telling you to sell anything else right right like yeah. so why do they care so much about a business that's just going to go bankrupt anyways why why do they care what i put my money into it's it's the it's the it's the boys club on wall street i mean that's the thing like they don't those guys really probably don't like the one that got shown up a couple years back when all this started right and, mm -hmm. and then they, they don't lost billions yeah and then they really don't like anybody else having control right because they they like that's all that's going on they're they're manipulating all these stocks all the time right exactly stuff, right i mean you know <clears throat> You know, it's like it's like the the politician stuff, right? If you follow the politician traders, right? It's the same deal. Yeah, they know like this stuff is happening. It's corrupt to the hilt, and yeah, there's. I mean, and they don't like it. All right, well, so I, I got a couple questions. Yeah, though, sure. Because I'm, I'm I feel like I'm speaking for the every man here because yes. I don't really know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Um, what's to stop these? First question, I guess, is what's to stop them from utilizing another uh, failing business model to uh, the hedge companies? to bolster the price and the second question i can't remember so let's start with that one every company is its own entity so, so it, why are they so obsessed with gamestop why because is GameStop they got like? caught with their pants down and so it's just like a fucking pride thing they were no they were made to look bad one two yeah but so. they they shorted the stock the, the what what the theory is is they have the, called naked shorting where you sell shares you don't own and that don't exist to drive the price down. And if you bankrupt a company, you don't have to pay that back. So all these people mm -hmm. saw GameStop failing. They piled in. In 2021, it was like 200% short, which means the shares available, they've sold double that short. And then they have not bought the shares back. And the company is now turning itself around. So literally the quote unquote dumb money. It's not turning itself around though. How do you know? <laughs> Well, it's, it's turning itself around because it's not, people are investing I, in it. Maybe, maybe not. Well, you, no, it's profitable, and they have no debt and two billion dollars cash. That's they have a no debt company. because the people are paying into it, but nobody's going. To no, well, stop. You got, well, you, you got it completely you, separate. On. You got to separate the stock from the the company, right? The company okay. is its own thing. The stock is what trades based on the company and company's performance. But like when you buy stock, it doesn't go into the company, right? It just goes to whoever whoever sold you the stock, right? That, and you're just trading something okay. about the company Fair so enough. the company may be it the company has not failed so those naked shorts you're talking about like that puts you in a really bad position because it's like oh if you know i've got to i've got to get i've got to get a hold of all these shares and i can't are they still outstanding that seems awfully long but i don't they I, they because that that was the big thing like when that happened in 2021 the congress put out a report that the the rise in price was not shorts covering their position so they've just been like doubling and tripling down over the last few years and quote unquote dumb money that's what that's what people they call retail because we people they put money in and then fucking lose it has them by the balls because the people aren't selling the stock no matter what they do no <laughs> one's selling their stock so that doesn't really answer the question why why is the game stop why are they so hot and heavy for it they why, why not it, something else because they're trapped well be, and they picked GameStop originally so i think there, there's almost a nostalgic value to it i think this is my opinion i think there's a nostalgic value amongst this retail group these trade these reddit folks or whoever that that's being that's doing this i mean for the hedge funds though the hedge like, funds understand the reddit group we're the hedge funds if, if they're mean. still naked on these shorts they need the price to go down okay. and they have infinite risk so they're still yeah. invested is yeah. what you're saying they're still invested yeah. <laughs> yeah and like and they need the shares from retail to close their position mm. at, and literally it can go to any price because it can, go up, it can go up any amount. And the more it goes up, the more they, they lose, right? So, so Because well, yeah. they didn't cap their because loss. Because they're trying to short it. Yeah, they shorted exactly. short it without covering their position, so they didn't. Okay. So, like, yeah. So, like, when you short a stock, there's infinite risk to the upside. Mm -hmm. And they are caught with, like, a, ton, a huge short positions. And there's not a lot of shares because the people who hold it aren't selling it. So, it's, it's a very precarious situation. So, we'll see, man. I don't, I don't know. I'll take your word for it. Hey, but that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we out.